2014 FIFA World Cup Brazil Review When I reviewed FIFA 14, I found it a great addition to the stellar franchise. Every four years, during the World Cup, EA Sports releases a special edition of the game that focuses on international teams and their quest to win the cup. This year is no different and with the better than ever FIFA 14 as a base. 2014 FIFA World Cup Brazil is set up to be a major success. Thanks to Betfair, we got to review the game and while it doesn't reach the heights that weren't expected, it gives a good showing nonetheless. Each World Cup game has special graphical themes based on the designs of the international tournament. With Brazil as the host nation, the game's menu screens are splashed with yellow, blue, and green with designs that look like jungle foliage. As individual games load, you are shown a stylized mock-up of the arena you'll be playing in with its name. Every one of the 12 World Cup stadiums is faithfully recreated from the Estadio de Rio in Porto Alegre to the world-famous Maracana in Rio. Occasionally, as your players score the goal or foul the opponent, the camera will switch over to the coach shouting instructions on the sideline or public viewing of the game in a major city from your country like Berlin, Buenos Aires, or Amsterdam. The character models aren't the best-looking things in the world and their movements are very stuttered, but for as infrequent as they show up, it isn't a huge problem. Perhaps the first thing you notice when you actually start the match is how simplified the controls are compared to the already streamlined controls of FIFA 14. However, this doesn't work as well as EA Sports might have thought. The controls suffer from being too limited compared to its big brother and feel exceedingly floaty, which is most evident in the passing game. 